In this video, we're going to quickly walk through here on the left hand side. This is a buried page on Apple's website. The standard applications that come on a Mac give you a brief explanation of each so you kind of know what you've got. We'll go to the applications window. You're going to see some application icons here that you don't have on your Mac. That's okay. These are things that I have loaded. Address book, standard contacts, emails, phone numbers that you can keep track of, standard application on a Mac. We move through to Automator. Automator, uh, as you would think, helps you automate tasks. You don't need to be a developer to use Automator, but you need some advanced skills, and we'll have Automator training as part of the Rock Track. You have a calculator on your Mac. You can play chess on your Mac. Dashboard. Now, Dashboard is something that some people absolutely love. Other people feel is a distraction. You can access it here through the applications or add it to your menu bar. I'm sorry, your dock. Or on most Macs, you can access Dashboard with the F3 key. You'll see it just pops up several what are called widgets. You can play around with these. You can add new widgets here. Uh, you'll see a list down at the bottom that you can thumb through. So again, with some people, they love this. Other people, they do not. Check it out on your own. See what you think. So we hit the escape key and we're back into applications. The dictionary on a Mac, you have multiple options within dictionary. You have a dictionary, a thesaurus, Apple terms, and then Wikipedia that you can access right here. And you do a search up here in the top right hand corner. DVD player, just what it says. I use this to play DVDs, fast forward, rewind, move through them. This is different from iDVD, which is part of the iLife suite. Expose. Expose is not here in the list. Expose is, Expose is really a navigation feature. It's not an application. We have a separate training on Expose. Font book. These are all the fonts that are loaded on your Mac. So when you're in a word processing uh, application like text edit, all the different fonts that you can choose from and you can add additional fonts uh, your own or buy fonts. Front row. Another one of those applications kind of like dashboard. Some people love it. Other people uh, never use it or they pull it up and see no use for it. It's uh, used to play the movies and and songs and podcasts. It's almost like an alternate way of iTunes to play all of that content. But then you can also look at movie trailers and TV show trailers and, and kind of look through the iTunes store. So again, it's kind of like an alternate to iTunes. Uh, it, it, the, the concept is to watch or listen to things there instead of iTunes. Your choice. Check it out and see what you think. GarageBand is a neat application that comes with the iLife suite. You can use it to, to learn how to play an instrument, uh, to mix songs together, to create ringtones, and do all types of things with your music. iTunes is really used to, to kind of listen to stuff and buy stuff, and GarageBand is used to, to work with music and play with music and learn to play an instrument iCal is the standard application on your Mac to manage your calendar, your events and reminders and to-dos, things like that. Very tightly integrated with address book and mail, separate training that we have on iCal. iChat is a web chat application. You have to have an AIM account, A-I-M, bit of a pain for a lot of people. And with Skype and FaceTime and all the other ways that you can uh, do web-based chatting, and a, lot of, a lot less people are using iChat, but you can load that up and check it out. Of course, we'll have training on iChat iDVD, that's an iLife uh, application that's not listed here under applications, but that's part of the iLife suite. Uh, this is much more advanced than DVD player. You use it to build and burn DVDs uh, with chapters and things like that. So you can take photos and slideshows, movies that you make, put them on a DVD for yourself or to share with friends and family. Image Capture is a very basic application when you plug a camera into your Mac that you can use to capture images from your camera. So I can upload pictures from a camera uh, onto my Mac hard drive through Image Capture. I can route them directly through that to iPhoto if I choose. If I don't use iPhoto or don't use a different application, I'm using that to just place pictures onto my Mac. While the camera's plugged in, I can use Image Capture to take pictures iMovie, part of the i uh, iLife suites on most Macs now. It's used to work with home videos and make really neat movies. One of the coolest applications that you'll have. You'll love the training on iMovie. Uh, a little uh, intimidating when you first pull it up, but uh, we break it all down for you and make it very easy. iPhoto, again, part of the iLife suite. You used to, almost everybody knows what iPhoto is, a standard kind of picture management application you can use to organize your pictures, make calendars, books, cards, slideshows, all kinds of of neat things. iSync is just the syncing application that comes on a Mac. It can run in the background or you can choose to run it when ready. It syncs devices. If you use MobileMe, it's a syncing process for that. 
iTunes, once again, most people are familiar with, and, and you'll see it's listed over here in the standard applications. It's not part of the iLife suite. It comes standard on a Mac, uh, but iTunes is, is managing all your media and your music, and again, most people are familiar with iTunes. We have training on that iWeb, part of the iLife applications. Uh, you can build your own website with iWeb or build your own little blog. We have training on iWeb. Uh, continuing to move through Mail. Mail is the email application on a Mac. You can route multiple email uh, accounts through that. So for example, if you have a Yahoo email and a Gmail and a Hotmail or something like that, you can route all of them into your Mail application and have everything kind of centered there and very tightly once again integrated with iCal and Address Book. So I uh, strongly encourage you to, to use the Mail application it has some neat features with it as well. Photo booth, we're moving down through the list here and you see it here. Uh, if you have an iSight little camera on your Mac, it allows you to take pictures of yourself, take movies of yourself. Uh, my kids love to play with photo booth. Preview. Preview is used to work with uh, pictures. You can resize pictures in preview. You can't resize a picture actually in iPhoto. You can crop it, but you can't resize it. Uh, so you can resize them there. You also work with PDFs, portable document formats. In preview, you can annotate them and combine PDFs into books. And of course, we have training on preview. QuickTime Player used to play movies primarily on a Mac. There's about a $30 uh, Pro version of QuickTime that lets you do more. But on the standard QuickTime uh, menus and, and application on your Mac, you can do things like trimming a movie down. Uh, we have training on QuickTime. Safari. Safari is the web browser on a Mac. So some people use, and you'll see that I have Firefox on my Mac as well. So, uh, But Safari is the standard web browser that comes with a Mac that you use to browse the internet. We scroll down through here. Stickies. I use that to make little sticky notes on my Mac. Uh, so again, an application that some people love and use and some people never use uh, is Stickies. Next up is System Preferences. You'll see me reference this often in the training. You can access it here on your dock or up here in the Apple button. If I left click, my little uh, Applications folder will go away. But System Preferences is there. It's where I set up all the preferences of how I want my Mac to work. And then as we wrap up this list, we have text edit, which is a standard word processing type application. It's not as fun, not going to have as much functionality as like Microsoft Word or Pages, but for a lot of people, text edit is just fine. It will do a lot more than a lot of people think it will do from a standard word, word processing perspective. And then last from the standard applications is Time Machine. Use that to back up. You have to have an external hard drive plugged into your Mac to do that. And we have Time Machine training uh, as part of uh, I rock my Mac. So there you go. A nice quick listing of all the applications that you have on your Mac. You can come to this page if you want and you'll see tons and tons and tons of text-based information here. I'm not a real strong text guy. I don't like reading all this stuff. So I figured it would be easier just to walk you guys through it in a very quick video. Hope that helped.